Monday. I have a little bit of a late start to the day, but I'm going to start with a little yoga and do a workout. Um, I'm wearing this little cute Lululemon set. These are Wonder Unders, and then I'm not sure what the name of this sports bra is, but I love it. Um, I found an awesome YouTube yoga tutorial or video yesterday. Um, it's from Lululemon, actually, but it's the most similar that I have found to um, my favorite yoga instructor and the class that I used to go to twice a week before quarantine and everything happened. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I have a lot of um, knee pain and back pain just constantly all the time, I think, because I was a gymnast. Um, and so the yoga really helps with that. And I'm going to do a little bit of my ab and butt workout with that as well. right now I've just been doing some schoolwork and working on some editing today so not too much going on happy Wednesday um, I didn't vlog at all yesterday I spent most of the day on the phone with property managers and then spent me like took me like three hours to apply for this apartment um, because we will be moving from here in the end of June, which is exciting, but it's just stressful trying to secure a place. Um, I'm about to start a little bit of yoga and a workout today, and then I have Zoom class at 12, which is in um, like an hour and a half. Um, and then I just want to try to have a productive good day and get as much done as I can because yesterday was kind of a flop, to be honest. Um, I'm wearing this Lululemon cute little striped set. Um, and I think it is Wonder Under, and then this is the Energy something sports bra. major which is in the journalism department at my school um, so along with all the PR classes and stuff that we do we are required to take um, a bunch of journalism classes as well so we have to be on two different publications and um, take mass media law ethics and all of that sort of stuff so we have a really strong journalism background as well and do quite a few classes that are what you would also be doing if you were doing um, reporter news reporting um, so PR, if you're unfamiliar, is basically whether you work for a firm or you're working specifically at one company, you are kind of like managing how your brand communicates with the public. So a lot of that is, you know, writing um, press releases and it can be involved doing social media and if there's any kind of crisis, you're doing crisis communication and it's how um, your brand, your company interacts. Um, and does campaigns with the public. So it's similar to marketing and to um, advertising in a way, except you're not specifically trying to sell a product like you might be in advertising and marketing. 
but you are trying to keep your brand looking um, and doing the right thing in terms of communicating with your different publics. Um, so I am a senior. Um, it's spring quarter right now. My school is on the quarter system. Um, and I will be graduating um, summer quarter, so the end of summer, so in August, um, hoping that I'm going to get to walk at my graduation, um, considering everything that's going on. Uh, but basically, I just have left to do um, in the summer is my internship, so I'm after this quarter, I'm going to be done with all my um, specific core work classes, um, which is pretty exciting. My school specifically, you have to do a field internship, um, and that's usually... <coughs> something you do your senior year. So for me, that's the last thing that I'm doing. Some people do it earlier on, but you do it for credit. So it's basically a class at the university, a six credit class that you register for, but you are doing your internship. It can be paid, unpaid. Um, I'm doing mine with a local um, coffee shop chain um, in the Pacific Northwest up here where I live. I'm very excited about that. I'm hoping that I'm still gonna get to do it. I don't know if it'll be something that I'm gonna be able to do online if, um, social distancing and all that is still going on, we shall see. Um, but yeah, so the classes I'm taking this quarter are um, research and campaigns. So learning how to do research for putting um, together a campaign. So there's two different groups um, or organizations that the kids in my class are working with and we work in a group and we are putting together a campaign proposal for um, the client that we're working for um, and then doing kind of like a group research paper and stuff and then I'm also taking photojournalism which is kind of like my last elective choice within the major um, there's a list of classes that you can choose to do um, and I chose to do photojournalism because I want to learn a little bit more about photography and then the other class I'm taking is feature writing which is something that news ed students and public relations students both have to take also really similar to communications in a lot of ways so you know, people who major in PR can fill a lot of um, like communication roles um, for companies as well. So I also do a lot of social media, um, which is exciting. One of my favorite parts, event planning, um, press conferences, you know, you're kind of like, in some aspects, a little bit like the face of the company, you know, if you have to do um, press conferences and stuff like that. So extremely writing intensive, so it's definitely um, not something you want to do if you do not like writing. There's a lot of writing that goes into it. Um, the reason that in our school it is so, it's part of the journalism department and we are required to take so many journalism classes is that as a public relations, um, as someone who works in public relations, you are constantly working with journalists because you want to get your press releases, your um, stories of what you have a concentration in another area that is different. Um, so my concentration is in women, gender, sexuality studies. I finished all my classes for that. Um, so I'm not minoring in anything and you don't have to minor in anything, but my concentration is um, in that. So you have to have 12 upper division credits um, in another area and that counts for your concentration. Um, with my school um, kind of journey, um, I've only been at Western for two years, and that's because I did Running Start while I was in high school, which is basically you, your junior, senior year of high school, you are taking um, college classes at, um, for us it was like, usually it's at a local community college, so that's what I did. Um, I was a full-time Running Start student, so I only had one class at my high school, and I did all my other classes, um, college classes, um, so I graduated with my associate's degree when I graduated high school, so now I only have to do two years um, at university. Technically, sometimes you have to last um, a little bit longer. Like for me, I'm going into summer quarter to do my internship. I could have been doing it um, now, but the credit load would have been a lot, so I just spread it out a little bit. Um, I was really excited last year to graduate and just be done, but now I'm kind of like, oh, I wish I had more time because I'm actually enjoying it so much. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go to grad school. It was never something I was really thinking about until recently. We are out here making French toast for lunch. Ignore my giant burnt spot on the pan. I literally never cook. I don't know if I've ever made French toast like for myself, um, but it just sounded amazing. So I looked up a recipe and decided to whip up some French toast. Happy Thursday. I just made myself some coffee and I'm about to start 
my yoga and workout. I'm probably not going to film it today because I did the past two days that I vlogged and I don't want it to get too repetitive, but I am trying a new yoga video today, so I'm excited about that. Surprise, surprise, I'm not in a Lululemon set. I'm actually wearing this Gymshark um, top and bottoms. Um, I don't wear my Gymshark stuff as much um, after I've got my, a bunch of my Lululemon sets because I just feel like the quality isn't as good, even though Lululemon is so incredibly expensive. I've just found that the quality is outstanding and to me that's worth it um i am considering selling some of my gymshark stuff on depop just because i don't wear it very often but i thought i would pull it out today and see how it does okay i'm sure you can hear my washing machine being so loud it's the loudest thing in the world i don't understand but i wanted to give you guys an update on this hairspray i bought i showed it in my other video the living proof living proof flex hairspray never used it before i just wanted to say it's my second day using it and i think it is amazing it smells so good um so i would recommend if you're in the market for a uh, pricey hairspray okay for lunch i am doing this spinach tortellini from trader joe's which is so amazing and then i do this vegan kale and cashew basil pesto that i showed um in my last grocery haul with it gonna make that super good super yummy and then i'm just doing my cold brew pasta she's looking beautiful i'm excited to eat the vlog here because it's already super long um go ahead and comment if you have any suggestions and leave a like if you like the video and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more mm -hmm.